Barber with Long Spoon Air Force here in West Virginia. And to follow up on the Energy Island story we just heard Vanessa share, we are going to build what's called an anemometer. Um, it's a scientific instrument that measures wind speed and helps folks um, get a better idea of where the best place is to, to make a wind farm, put up a wind farm. So first, let's talk about what causes wind. Well, first, air is heated up by the sun, which causes it to rise. This produces an area of low pressure. Cooler air produces an area of high pressure and moves in under the warm air. This pattern of air movement creates wind. The direction and strength of the wind are changed by the Earth's environmental surface, which means that the existence of trees, water, and various terrain can impact the speed and the direction of wind. West Virginia has 376 wind turbines, or windmills, which produce enough energy to power 132,000 homes. This reduces the consumption of fossil fuels needed for energy production, which reduces pollution and saves 2.1 million metric tons of carbon dioxide um, from entering our atmosphere each year. The turbines that sense the wind direction have what's called a wind vane and one of these, an anemometer on top that sense wind speed and lets the turbine know when it's a good time, when there's enough wind coming through that it can start to turn and capture the wind energy. So, what you'll need for this, um, what you'll need for this activity <coughs> is three, excuse me, is five three ounce little cups. You'll need, let me take mine apart here, a hole punch, two straws, a pencil, a thumbtack, and have a pair of scissors handy. <clears throat> so the first thing that we're going to do with our first cup is we're going to put four holes um, around our cup. Try to space out the holes as evenly as possible with your hole puncher. And then you're also going to put a hole at the bottom of your cup as well. And then for the remaining four cups, you punch two holes in each cup about an inch apart. So we'll go back to our first cup that we had. And you're going to just kind of crisscross the straws through the holes that you made. And then you're going to lace your cups onto the end of each straw. Be sure to make sure that all the cups are in the same direction so they can touch the wind. Else it won't work. Okay, and then the next thing that you're going to do is take your pencil, stick it up through the hole that you made on the bottom, and join the straws to the pencil eraser with your thumbtack. This part's a little tricky.